the housing season is at its peak. Appraisers are feeling a more serious crunch and more people are blindly bidding on homes. Happy Thursday and welcome back to my home. Do you like what you see? It's for sale, like when on the market today. But you're here for the 90 second rundown where we share the top real estate stories in a way less time than it takes for me and my wife to tidy up before our new showing. According to Realtor.com, the national peak home buying month of the year is upon us. As the typical month of May was overshadowed by the pandemic, other signs of a recovering housing market? Homes are being sold four days faster than it was a year ago, and the median home list price is up 9.4%. With low mortgage rates and real estate activity picking up quickly, it's been tough for appraisers to keep up with demand for home sales and refinances. HousingWire surveyed lenders who are being quoted anywhere from two to three weeks to turn around an appraisal. One lender said they were being quoted 10 days and didn't actually get the appraisal back for 27 days. The biggest issue is that there are not enough qualified appraisers to handle the work. In hotter markets like Colorado, they're being told at least four weeks. According to a Redfin survey, nearly half of all home buyers made a bid on a home without actually ever stepping inside. This is almost twice the rate we saw sight unseen bids in 2019. Continued concerns over the risk of COVID exposure limits the number of buyers willing to do in-person tours. But low inventory is adding pressure to bid first and see later. Redfin's chief economist expects by the end of the year, most buyers will have made an offer sight unseen, choosing to take a risk with their home purchase rather than with their health. Zillow recently analyzed federal data and reports that black mortgage applicants are 80% more likely to be denied than white applicants. The analysis also found that applicants, regardless of race, were more likely to be denied if they lived in zip codes that were predominantly composed of black households. The report cites ways to help close the gap, would include a reform to the credit scoring system and expanded funding for HUD education and enforcement programs. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any thoughts about the show, share them with us in the comments. Also subscribe and hit the bell to get a notification every time we post the weekly rundown. Now, I've gotta clean all this up before my realtor finds out. Have a nice weekend.